What were those shoes that I wanted to get earlier? Ugh. Are you tired of getting these ads every time you make a search on Google? Yeah, they're smacking you in the face and you're sick of seeing all that crap. You're sick of being tracked every move you make, every search you make. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to self-host your own Google alternative without all the tracking, the ads. You can disable JavaScript. You're going to be able to do that hosted right from your own NAS. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to another video from nashosted.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at Woogle, the self-hosted alternative to Google, and we're going to be throwing it up here on my Synology NAS. This is a virtual DSM, actually. And the first thing you want to do is install Docker. If you haven't installed Docker already, you can go to nashosted.com forward slash Docker to see how to do that. It's real simple, but I already have it installed. And the first thing we're going to do is open the registry and search Woogle. And the one you want is Ben Bisbee. That's the one that's actually the dev who created it. And we're going to go ahead and download that. We're going to pop over to the image and let it download. It should just take a couple seconds to download. And once it's done, we're going to launch it right here on the Synology NAS. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> yeah, don't worry. It's This is a virtual DSM and it has very little hardware allocated to it. So you're going to see differences when you <laughs> install this on your NAS. Don't worry. It's normal. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and double click the image. I'm going to rename it to Google Search so it's a little more clean in the list. Click on Advanced Settings, Enable Auto Restart. There is no volume to map yet, and I have made a request to the dev to let me know what, uh, what I need to mount so I can actually see those files within my Synology NAS. But right now, you can actually do that from the front web UI. So uh, we're going to go to Port Settings, and we're going to change this from 5000 because DSM utilizes this port. So I'm going to change it to 5003 just for demonstration purposes of this video, that's it. There's nothing else we need to fix, or I should say change, or add. So click Apply, and then click Next, and then click Apply again. I'm gonna make sure that little Run This Container after the wizard is finished is ticked. Then you're gonna to go to the Container tab, and you're gonna see that it is going to start up. It's gonna take a few seconds. You might see resources are gonna be a little high at start, but once it starts out and runs the installation, it should settle down. Once again, keep in mind this is a virtual DSM, so things are going to look a little more higher as far as resource consumption, because uh, this NAT or this specific DSM, virtual DSM, is only allocated like one of one of each uh, as far as RAM and CPU goes. So it's very little, and you can see I have very little hard drive space there too. So. Let's see what the logs say, and everything looks good. It's We're gonna have to change that on the front web UI, so let's launch that up. We're going to copy this, open a new tab, and change that from 5001 to three, and it still hasn't popped up yet. Google search, where are you? Well, I figured out what it was. I was using the HTTPS protocol instead of the HTTP protocol, and now we got it working by going to the HTTP side. So make sure when you load this up that you go to HTTP, and then the IP of your NAS and then the port you use to install this. So here it is, Google. Oh, this is so bright. So I think what I'm gonna do is first change the root URL here. You can pop open this little configuration and paste that in there, hit save, and then I will change it to dark mode. Oh, so much better. This looks so good. So this is it, your, your very own Google alternative hosted on your Synology NAS or any NAS for that matter. If you have Docker installed on your NAS, it could be free NAS, Unraid, you can install this. So you can see that I searched for poop earlier and uh, yeah, well, it comes up with, you know, you can search uh, websites, images, videos, you can shop, and you can do all this without the JavaScript, without the ads being thrown in your face, and without, most importantly, the tracking. So yeah, let's click on images, and there they are. So you can click on the image, it'll take you to the website where it's hosted. Uh, very easy to install. It doesn't get any easier than this, you guys. So check out Google. You can click the link at the top, go back to it, search it on your phone locally. If you want to expose the port, wouldn't recommend it. You can do that. But if you do, I would use an SSL certificate. So make sure you do it securely. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Enjoy using this tool. Check us out at nasosa.com. Check me out at nasosa.com, I should say. One man team. It's just me. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.